Hey everyone, it's Keely here for Soy and Shane. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Now, if you've been around for a while, you'll know that each month I ask my patrons to give me a suggestion for a soap design challenge. Well, I decided in December I wanted to do something a little bit different for them, and I asked them to give me an extract that was listed on New Directions, either a powdered extract or a glycerin basis extract under a certain dollar value because we needed to keep um, budgets in mind and I said that I would create a bath and body product and I would then share that recipe with them in January. Now I put everyone's suggestions into a pot and the one I drew out came from off of Laurie. Now Laurie doesn't have her own business at the moment but she said that's something she's working on this year so when she does get it all started I'll leave links in the description box so you can go and check it out. But she wanted me to use pomegranate powder. So I got myself in some pomegranate fruit powder, not the extract because I didn't realize there were two different ones on there. But I did get the pomegranate fruit powder, which I am quite pleased because it had a few other properties in that I preferred to the extract. And I also got in some pomegranate oil as well. Um, after reading the benefits of pomegranate, I decided that this was going to make a really nice facial product and I asked my patrons on the $10 tier if they'd prefer to see a face cream or an under eye cream and it one by one vote they asked to see an under eye cream. Now I have done a video on here of an under eye cream and I explained at the beginning because I did it so long ago that I didn't share that recipe because it took me so long to create because it was in my early years. Well, I've taken that base recipe and I've made a few changes to it so I know that the recipe was going to work and I put in these extra ingredients and I absolutely love the end results. As I said, this recipe is being shared over on Patreon. If you join at the $5 tier, it's there for January, February, and March. And at the $10 tier, it will be available all the way into the end of June. Now, if you are watching this video much later than January, 2022, to check out the description box to make sure that that recipe is still available if you do come and join. Um, now what we're going to do is go and jump in and see how I'm going to make my pomegranate under eye cream. And I have done this video a little bit differently. This time I did do it um, silently because I was doing it in my shop. So I'm going to do a little bit of a voiceover for you. Let's go. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab myself two small beakers. Because eye cream is generally sold in very small amounts, we don't have to make a big batch. 300 grams would actually make you about 10 pots of eye cream. I'm going to make about 100 grams today. And the first thing I've measured out is my humectant, which is some glycerin. And now I'm adding in my distilled water. Once we've got that one all measured out into the jar, I'm going to add in some vitamin B3 powder. And this is really good for the delicate area underneath those eyes. Gonna give it a good mix just to make sure that it has started to dissolve. And because we're gonna be heating this and I don't want to lose any of that water, I'm covering it up with some BioCling. Now it is a good idea to also have some more distilled water on the side boiling. So if you do lose too much water, you can always top this one back up. Next, we're gonna measure out phase B, which is all the emulsifying waxes and oils. And the first thing I'm gonna add in is my emulsifying wax, which I've chosen to use Olive M1000 because it is a conditioning emulsifier and it feels so silky smooth on the skin. To that, I'm gonna add in some fractionated coconut oil or MCT oil. And then after that, we've got some pomegranate oil, which is a bit of a treat for this particular product and really adds some label appeal. I'm also gonna add in the camellia oil to get even more antioxidants into this blend of oils. And then I'm following up with some jojoba oil, which is actually a wax and it will help to put a protective barrier over the skin to stop all that moisture loss. The area under the skin or under the eye is quite thin, so we really need to protect it. Next, I'm gonna put in some unrefined shea butter. And again, this is gonna to help to put a protective layer on the skin to lock that moisture in. Now to protect those oils, I have put in some vitamin E and now I'm gonna pop them into my bain-marie system and I'm gonna let them melt down and come up to a temperature between 75 and 80 degrees. It will take about 20 minutes. Now that we're up to temperature, I'm just actually going to double check first. I know once my oils come up to temperature, my water is usually okay. I always make sure to wipe my jars down so we don't get any of that water drop into our product and contaminate it. And with this small batch, I like to pour my water into the oil because it's easier to clean that water jar than it is a jar with oil in it. 
Next, we're gonna give it a bit of a mix with the stick blender, just to make sure everything emulsifies and comes together. And then I'm gonna cover it back up because while it's still hot, it's still gonna lose some of that moisture. I left it for five minutes and I've come back to give it another mix just to make sure that it has combined really well. And now what I wanna do is wait for this to come down in temperature so we can add in our face C. We've come down to the right temperature and the first thing I'm gonna add in is the pomegranate extract, which I made up myself from some pomegranate fruit powder and I mixed up with some water and some glycerin and now we're stirring it in. Now this trick with pomegranate um, powder is that you do need to add it into your cool down phase and we also need to check that pH level. So now that I've just put in the preservative and I'm giving it a really good mix, it's time to go and get the pH meter. First thing I'm gonna do is check that my pH meter is working properly. So I pour out some distilled water to clean my meter with, and I always check it in my seven pH solution, just to make sure I am actually getting a good reading. To do the solution for the moisturizer, I've weighed out five grams of the eye cream and topped it up with 45 grams of water to make a 10% solution, so that we can actually measure that pH. So first of all, I've popped it into my number seven. It has come up a little bit higher, but that is because of the temperature that my liquid is at. And it does say in the box what temperature that you should expect this to be given your, or what pH it will be given the room temperature. Just gonna wash it off in that distilled water. And now we've got it into our moisturizer. And you can see that that pH level is dropping down quite quickly. To do the pomegranate, it needs to be at a pH between four and 4.5 and the little smiley face is just popped on now at 4.4 so i know that our pomegranate powder is going to be well protected in that ph level next thing i'm going to do is start potting it up and i find it easiest to pop it into a little piping bag because the tubes that we're going to be using are quite small and narrow and the piping gap bag just gives me much more control so now that i've got it in there I'm going to squeeze it all down to the bottom and cut off a little bit so we can start piping it in. First thing I'm going to use is a little airless tube and I'm going to tear it out my scale and start squeezing it in there, knocking it down to make sure we get as much as we possibly can. This little tube will hold 35 grams of eye cream in it. I'm also going to pot some up into some little lip balm containers. I've got a little glass one and another little plastic one because I'm going to keep a couple of these for myself as well. So here's the little glass one, just topping that up and I'm knocking it down off the side of the screen so I can get as much in as possible. And here is the other container all done up. And next thing to do, pop the lids on and then I'm gonna put some labels. Now the little pots, as I said, are for me, so I've just put down what they are, um, not the ingredients list, but this bigger tube, I'm actually giving this one away to Laurie. So I have put on a proper label with all the ingredients lists on it. And that is how I make my under eye cream. I hope you've enjoyed and until the next video, I hope you have a good one and I'll see you then, bye.